So for the original bed, we used a video that we saw online. Um, it's from a guy called Chris Goes Outdoors. I'll link that in the description below. He explains it a lot better. It was a great bit, uh, build for a bed, but unfortunately it was just a little too large for the ProMaster here. Uh, we were just having problems with uh, the amount of room we had sitting down. So I just used the same similar model, but took it down a lot smaller. Um, that way we have room to sit and um, room to relax and also room when we're laying down so we're not so close to the ceiling. So my mom is going to help us today. And what are we doing, mom? Okay, so we are going to make the padding for the couch bed. And so nice. we just took a thin piece of board that we found in the garage. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever you find. But we're using that as backing. We've drawn out our foam and we're going to cut it and then we're gonna piece it together, make fabric, put fabric on it, and make a couch. We've cut the board to fit on the back. I drilled some holes in it for ventilation. We put our five inch foam on top, and now we're gonna put some quilt batting on it just uh, for a little extra something something. Now what we wanna do is flip this. I'm getting an action shot. <laughs> Yeah, so the radio was way too loud when I recorded this initially, but this is the bed in its entirety, uh, minus the slats. This right here is just the backrest, uh, just so the cushion isn't flying all around everywhere. And basically, I just put some pocket holes into the side there, and then I drilled straight into the side of the bed uh, with some two-inch screws. Now the part I wasn't looking forward to, taking the slats off this bed and putting them on the other bed. Now I gotta cut these down because the measurement's a little different going across. Gotta cut an inch and a half off these, but at least in this time lapse, I won't be stripping a bunch of screws. So that's good. All right, so now I got all my parts that are gonna go on the slide that were already on the slide before. They're already kind of pre-drilled, so I'm not gonna have to pre-drill in here. And then I got all my ones that will go here. These I got going 23 inches, kind of going from the edge of this all the way to the edge of this. The other ones I got going from the edge of this right to the beginning of this. The only reason I didn't put them onto here is I was having trouble before lipping them up onto that. And honestly, we have um, like some padding behind like this. So we don't need all that to be as secure as I thought I needed. So yeah, now I just got to drill all these in um, and then I'm done for the day. Long day. So one thing, using these inch and a half screws, might be a little too small, we'll see. And I'm using this protractor in between each slat to make sure there's enough space to make sure it slides and doesn't catch.
right, so this is the final couch. Uh, I stopped filming last night because it got dark, but here's it inside, and as you can see, headroom. It's nice. Um, yeah, uh, pull it out here. But it comes out the same as before. Uh, just take that piece down from here. Put it right here. There's not a lot of room right here. But yeah, still a good surface for a bed. Uh, I'll leave all the dimensions in the description. My only suggestion, put this on last because I was screwing in the slats and kind of was like a pain at the end to get all those in. But yeah, that's about it. This is the bed. I'm just gonna put little metal hooks on the end of the slat so we have like a, basically like a stopper, but I don't wanna go to Lowe's and do that yet. So yeah, that's it.